Queens and Queens, I'm Queen Sheba, and today we are talking the Whitlows, Tiffany and Lewis. Mostly Tiffany, though. My commentary will be centered on the art of seduction. When a woman uses sex to control or overpower a man's logic, his pattern of thinking, You know, most men tend to be highly sexual creatures, so this isn't hard to do, as you can see with Martel Holt and Arion. Arion used her sex as a weapon to completely disarm Martel from his logic. So much so that his son Knox can have a mini liquor bottle on his mouth, which we clearly saw in her live video. But because of the art of seduction that he's come under, He's shouting from a mountaintop that she's a great mother. I gave you that as an example, as a point of reference, so you'd be able to connect the dots as you follow along. So let's get into it. Before we get started, I am Queen Sheba. I cover a variety of topics specific to reality television, but most importantly, I hone in on the behavioral and the psychological traits of the black experience. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. First of all, I would bet my bottom dollar that Tiffany seduced Lewis and blew his mind sexually. Allegedly. Let me say that just in case. Matter of fact, I don't think it was hard to do because Lewis slipped up on the boys trip last season to Atlanta and gave us a glimpse of who he really is when he was describing that wine to the ladies at Martell's event. They were all seated around the table and the men were asked to describe the wine. And he said something along the lines of, you're opening up those legs tonight or those legs better be open, something like that. And I remember being shocked when I heard him say that because it just seemed off for him. I always thought of him as a bit reserved and sophisticated. Then I think the next day, Martell also mentioned that Tiffany and Lewis allegedly likes company. For those of you who are tuned in, um, they like company in the bedroom. They like to invite in a third party. I don't want to say, you know, and get flagged, but they like to have company in the bedroom. I believe, y'all, that Mm. Tiffany is a low-key Jezebel, and I believe she has Lewis wrapped under her skirt. Mm. In a healthy marriage, this would be okay. This would be good because the couples, the couple would be having a healthy sex life. But her tactics aren't because she wants to please her husband. They're more about dominance, control, almost domineering in nature, which is why she sat at the table during the dinner with Dr. Francis after the first exercise. She said, of course, during dating, I gave him a lot of SEX. It was a priority to get married. (laughs) Y'all, that's telling. Like, the heart doesn't lie when it doesn't have time to rehearse. She, She didn't even realize she was, like, telling us her plan. She said it was a priority to get married to Lewis. So the sex was plentiful earlier on. And the reason why she's having a hard time now being sexual is because she did it for the wrong reasons in the first place. See, Lewis got tricked. Lewis was seduced. Lewis fell under the trap of the art of seduction. And now that she has the marriage, she's bored. She's just not that into him. Traditionally, you'd see this behavior played out by men. But in this case, it's a woman. And, you know, when you think about a Jezebel spirit, It's a woman who encourages sexual fornication. In this case, she's married, but she encourages her husband to fornicate by inviting additional people in as company, which tells me she's unrestrained somewhat sexually. Because in a sense, let's go back to last season. It was Louis, Martell, and Tiffany. When when Martell was inviting Louis to the wine tasting, um, He basically asked Tiffany to let, you know, to let him sample it. Or if she wanted to try a sample, he said something like that. He didn't use the word sample, but he was like, girl, you don't want none of this or girl, I would do something. And Lewis sat there and smiled. Lewis didn't say a word. Most men would have a problem with that, right? 
But because they have additional company, I guess Lewis allowed it to uh, roll off his back. During the walking exercise, you hear her say many times, I want out. I don't like feeling stuck. Well, I believe her. I believe her. The heart does not lie when it doesn't have a chance to rehearse. The tie-in together is a bit much for her because she's never had that emotional attachment to him from the get-go. It's always been an energy of dominance, perhaps. He keeps asking for sex because that may be the only time that she comes alive and he actually feels bonded or close as a couple. But it's an illusion. Tiffany actually works a lot to escape him. The girl didn't want to be next to him in the exercise, so much so that she couldn't verbally stop saying, I want out. Help! The girl left the room during the start of the therapy session to avoid hearing anything about how he felt. Dr. Francis wasn't talking, not even 30, 40 seconds before she got up and left. One thing research shows about divorce is the same reason couples marry each other is often the same reason they divorce. Tiffany and Lewis bonded over unusual, quote unquote, unusual sexual energy. It may have felt like love to Lewis because he wasn't thinking with the right head, but he played right into the art of seduction. He didn't know what hit him and he probably still doesn't know. Tiffany doesn't want that man touching her, which is why she likes company in the bedroom. I don't really buy into the whole baby thing. I believe if she does have a baby, um, it's for trauma reasons. I believe it would be to go back subconsciously when she was a baby and protect the baby like no one protected her. Because as a baby, she had no love, nor did she receive any love. She was given up as a baby. She was what they consider to be forbidding, forbidden fruit, right? Uh, Her mother was Caucasian. Her dad was an African-American man. And during those times, that was forbidden for couples like that to be together. And as a result, she was given away because she was it was a shame to have something like that. So not only did she not get that love as a baby, but then the people that adopted her. Right. They were drug addicts. So she was unprotected as a baby when she was given up and then she was adopted out to drug addicts. So she didn't truly get what she needed as an infant. So having a baby, she would literally be nurturing herself again and again and again, because it's not like she don't have children. She's had two children already. So it's something about her repeating that cycle where she gets to nurture herself over and over and over. Um, I believe because Tiffany may not have worked through her trauma with extensive therapy, She's become a seductress and Tiffany has managed to seduce Lewis and his brain is still stuck on the stuff, the sexual stuff (laughs) that she's done. And he's used to what she used to do, which is why he's unable to see clearly what's in front of him. A woman that really doesn't want him. However, you can't rely on the art of seduction too long, which is why we're going to see him in later episodes breaking down emotionally because he's not really getting what he's needing from a wife, what he's needing from her as a wife. He isn't getting. And Lewis, that's because you didn't marry a wife. 